Good morning, beautiful. Welcome to a brand new day of life. I'm so happy that you're meeting me here this morning. I hope you woke up just knowing that you received the greatest gift of all wrapped in the rising sun. And I hope that you're ready to rip into it. And I mean enjoy this day. How do you enjoy this day? You live. I mean, you live with your eyes wide open, your heart wide open. You say yes to life. And know that when you say yes to life, life says yes to you. Come on now. You better get fired up about this day of life. Man, this is exciting stuff. God just gave us a new day. Today's scripture is Mark 12, 30. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Now, may I be honest with you? I never really liked the scripture. It always just seemed unrealistic to me. I mean, here's my heart, and it's full of people I love beautiful things I love, and then plus my dreams and my desires, and my heart is so full. I have a really full heart. But then God says, love me with all of it. Love me with all your heart. And I'm left saying, but God, what about these other things in my heart? If I love you with all my heart, then what about my family? And doesn't that mean I have less love to give them? Is it wrong of me that I I have so much love in my heart for my family? And and then how about my dreams? My dreams are just crowded right out because I have to give my whole heart to you? And that just doesn't sound like an exciting life. I mean, this is literally the battle that I have going on within me sometimes. That doesn't sound exciting really sitting around all the days of my life, just loving God, just loving God with all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind, and all my strength. And all means all. And that means there's none of my heart, my soul, my mind, or strength available for anything else, right? Come on, I can't be the only one who struggled with this. So for 41 years, I've avoided this scripture because I felt like I was failing miserably in this area. And honestly, I didn't want to fix it. I really, really, really love my family. And I want to keep loving my family. And I have these big dreams and desires. I don't want to just like toss them to the wayside because there's no room. So I've always shifted my focus on the next verse, which says to love your neighbor as yourself. I can do that. Man, I can give love. I can put someone else first. I can be kind. That's the easy stuff. But this loving God with all, well, that just never made sense to me. When I'm avoiding something, God likes to confront me with it the moment that I wake up. And this morning, as my alarm rang at 4.42 a.m., I was quoting this scripture. For real, the one I really don't like, the one I avoid, the one I can't wrap my mind around. Pamela, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And so I've been studying this scripture this morning. And here's what I've learned so far. Love is a matter of trust. I trust God above everyone and everything else. I trust him in the good times and I trust him in the bad times. And that is love. Love is both an emotion and a call to action. We often focus on the emotion of love. And God wants our mushy, softened heart, choked up, not in our throat kind of love. But our love for God must be a call to action as well. Because we love God, we must live differently. We must treat others differently. We must go where others won't go and do what others won't do. This is how we love God with 
all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And when we love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we love our family on a whole new level. I realized my marriage got better when I learned how to love God better. I became a better mom when I surrendered my life to God. My dreams started coming true when I gave it all to God. You see, loving God with all doesn't require an absence of our love for others. It enhances our love for others. It is the supreme love, and it flows over onto every relationship and every circumstance. And now I know I can love God with my all. All of me, God. You can have all of me. With every fiber of our being, we can love God. The message translation of Mark 12.30 says, Love the Lord your God with all your passion and your prayer and intelligence and energy. And I really love that. I think it just makes it more personal, more direct. It's easy to say, I love you with all my heart. That's cheap these days, isn't it? Love you to the moon and back. Well, what the heck does that mean? But this really makes sense to me. Love the Lord your God with all your passion and your prayer, your intelligence, and your energy. God wants your passion today. He wants you to be hungry for him. And if you won't choose to be hungry for him, seeking him like food when you're starving, then he will make you hungry for him through desperation. Man, our desperation brings about a passion for God, causing us to seek him high and low. Don't wait for desperation to seek God. Seek him today, even when there's enough money to pay the bills. Seek him today, even when you and your family are healthy. He wants your passion. He wants you to pray to him today. He wants you to fill your brilliant mind with thoughts of him, what he has done for you, what he is doing now, and what he promises he will do. And he wants your energy today. God wants you to be alive. That's why he gave you life today. So, as my daddy used to tell me, girl, you better look alive. You better act alive. Be full of life today because he has given you life today. Can we be women who have been so richly blessed with people and things to love, hearts with passions and dreams? Can we truly love God with our all, all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength? Oh, yes, we can. It is his love that causes us to get all the other relationships right. And isn't that what we want? Loving God with our all doesn't mean an absence of our love for our husband or our children or passions and dreams and desires. No, it just means when we put him first, we trust him first, fully, wholly, and we live in a love of emotion and action, then that love overflows onto everything else. And so once you join me as I just pray and I, I lead us in prayer and we ask God to help us get this thing right, won't you join me? Let's pray. God, good morning. God, we love you. We love you. We trust you. And God, would you just help us to get this right? We want to love you with our all. Recognizing that doesn't mean an absence of our love for, for others. It just means that we love you supremely, and that love gets to overflow onto everything else. That's what fixes relationships. That's what covers over our mess-ups. So God, help us to get this right today. We want to love you with our all. God, if there are things in the way of that, if we are too wrapped up in loving our bodies or 
loving our house or loving our car or being so wrapped up in a relationship that we don't give you time, then, God, I, I pray that you would shake us and help us to see that. Help us to see it the easy way instead of the hard way. I pray that we would get this right so that we can love you with our all, not because we have to, because we get to, because that love flows on everything else. Help us, God. We are so messed up in this area. Would you help us? We want to love you with all our passion today, with our our prayer, with, uh, with our minds today, with all our energy and our strength. We seek you. We seek you in the good times and the bad. We seek you high and we seek you low, God. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being right here. Thank you for loving us first. Even when we are so stubborn and so unlovely, thank you for loving us first. I pray for every family represented here. I ask for your provision and your protection. I ask for your guidance, God. I ask for your blessings and your favor. Thank you again for this day of life. I'm so grateful. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, my friends, you've got a day of life to live. You better look alive. You better act alive. Get your love on. Yeah, (laughs) it's a great day, isn't it? Thanks for joining me today. Remember, please share the recording. Let's bless others. I love you wildly. Bye-bye.